Let's just settle into our meditation this evening. And uh, I'm sitting at I'm sitting on a chair uh, at my computer, so my feet are flat on the floor. And so just feel your toes if you're doing like me, and the soles of your feet, the outside of the arches, the weight of your legs into your ankles, the sits bones into the chair and be on top of the sits bones. So really try and have your shoulders aligned with your hips. I'm just going to adjust the mic for a minute, I think. And just lengthen your spine. Imagine your spine is a string of pearls of light stretching from the base all the way up through the crown of the head and beyond. Take a nice deep breath. If there are any sounds in your environment, just allow them to be there, trying not to follow with your mind. You might be hearing here in the background a dog is barking, we have birds are chirping their last, and the crickets just started. I'm just allowing all those sounds just to be there. I'm aware of them, but I'm not running to check them out. And then just move to what's arising in your mind. What thoughts are arising? And just allow those thoughts. But try not to follow the story or have judgment or criticism about what you're thinking. And you can maybe classify those thoughts, so categorize them. So you can just be, it can be just like, oh, there's an angry thought or there's a happy thought. There's a jealous thought. Oh, there's a story I'm ruminating. So just put, you can put those thoughts on a, a nice white fluffy cloud or a beautiful lotus and just blow it away. Take a nice deep breath and just be aware of the sensation of the air as you're inhaling and exhaling. And just... We can be putting ourselves on the bank of our river and just notice the quality of the water. How is your how is your river looking this evening? Is it clear? Is there debris in there? Is it running quietly? And just notice that while you're sitting on the bank of that river, you're free from the river, from the water. So bring to mind all the people of your life. And we can think about all those people on the island of Maui and all the people affected. And then start with your loved ones, your best friends, your your colleagues, your work colleagues, your spouses and children, and then think of those people who are difficult for you in your life and then think of the strangers and just know that they can all change place at any time. This is due to impermanence. This is due to karma. Things change. And then think they're all equal and they wish to be happy. They wish to be free from suffering and having this extraordinary capacity for this Buddha mind. 
and then think we're going to dedicate this evening for all those people of our life and particularly for all the people uh, on Maui. You know, I was reading today, it's they didn't have, they had all the conditions against them. The firefighters were ran out of water pressure because of the way the water system is um, functions there, because of their system. They're, all the water was running out because the water was leaking out of all the homes that were melting. So they had no pressure. They had no pressure, no way to fight the fire. And it happened uh, that they had 70 mile per hour winds or something blowing the fire towards the town. So people have very little opportunity to save themselves. And then they have one road going in and out. So this one road was kind of chock-a-block full of cars. And then when people did jump into the water, the water was on fire because there was oil and the oil was on fire from the boats that had exploded. I mean, it was just, just would have been terrifying. So really keep them in your heart, these people as they're transitioning to survival mode, as they transition to now, okay, what's our next step? They have to deal with insurance companies. They have to deal with rebuilding and rebuilding their community and then re dealing with all the loss of their loved ones. So just keep those people at the top of your mind as we dedicate for them, motivate for them. So... Um, now, as Ben Barbina was talking, there is no negativity that cannot be purified. And what she was saying earlier was because things change. Everything is impermanent. And this is the nature of this concept of emptiness. We can change. And we can do the work ourselves. So this purification process is psychological. You know, we create negativity with our mind so we can change it by creating positivity. So we start with the power of regret. So sincerely regret from the depths of your heart anything you have done to harm any living being on this day, in this life, and in all of our past lives. And think of specific actions of both your body and your speech, and then in general regret all. And the reason to regret is based on this logic of karma. And we experience everything due to our past karma, our past actions, and having harmed others, we ourselves will necessarily experience suffering in the future. And we cannot bear the thought of this future suffering that we're going to experience. So logically it makes sense to remove the karmic seeds before they ripen as future suffering for us. So think like this. I regret from the depths of my heart having harmed others with my body and my speech, having broken my vows, because I do not want the future suffering, I'm sick of suffering, and also regret any anger, attachment, and the rest that are the cause of why we harm others, and think again, I'm sick of this suffering, and then think, what can I do about it? Whom can I turn to? So here we come to the power of reliance. So we turn to this Buddha, Bhadrasattva, who we see as a doctor, who we see as a Buddha who has the methods that we can use to purify so we're not, we're not exactly asking for this higher power to come along and forgive us and take all our things away. We're wanting to use, we want to purify ourselves. We do the work ourselves by relying upon his methods. So imagine Vajrasattva, this Vajrasattva that you're seeing in front of you in, a, in, in the form of light. It doesn't have to be that detailed, that complicated, but just you can even just be as simple as a ball of white light above the crown of your head. You can also imagine this is the mind of your teacher manifesting in this form for your benefit. And he's made of, you know, light, blissful white light, sitting cross-legged on a white lotus and a moon cushion. And he has this beautiful radiant face and long eyes. And these eyes are peaceful and beautiful and love, full of love and compassion equally for you and all those people of your life. And he has a sweet red mouth. His hair is black and held up in a top knot. His arms are crossed at his heart, the left underneath the right. The left is holding a bell representing wisdom. The right is holding a vajra, which represents the indestructibility of compassion. And their being crossed represents the union of these two. And this symbolizes enlightenment itself. 
the development of infinite wisdom and infinite compassion. To the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Sangha, I go for refuge until I'm enlightened by this practice of meditating on Guru Vajrasattva. May I reach Buddhahood so as to benefit all sentient beings. So we, here we have this thing as this compassion, which is a wish for a person to not suffer. So in order to develop compassion, we need to rely upon other beings. So the beings we have harmed and those who have harmed us by developing a, a wish for them to be free from suffering. So think of someone you've harmed recently and then someone who's harmed you. And particularly have uh, compassion for that person or those people or those beings because the harm they've caused you will manifest for them as suffering in the future. So we come to the power of the remedy. And this is the medicine doing the practice of purification. And we start with the body. And Vajrasattva very compassionately sends powerful white nectar like coming out of a hose quite forcefully from his heart. And it arcs around and enters your crown and pours into your entire body, filling you completely. And it keeps pouring into you until it <clears throat> forces out of your lower orifices all the harm you've ever done to any living being with your body in the form of inky liquid, and this pours out of you and disappears into space, not one atom left as you recite the mantra. Vajrasapha Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapha Dina Patita Tira Meboa Sutokaya Meboa Supokaya Meboa Anarakta Meboa Sawa Sidi Mepi Yato Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajrama Mimutsa Vajrabawa Maha Samaya Sata A Kompe Vajrasapha Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapha Dina Patita Dira Meboa Sutokaya Meboa Supokaya Meboa Anarakta me boa, sawa sidi me piyato sawa kama sita me, sitam shiyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan, sawa tata gata vajrama me mutsa vajrabawa maha samaya sata a hum pe, and bhajrasapa samaya manupalaya bhajrasapa dina patita, didu me boa, sitokaya me boa, sipokaya me boa, anarakta me boa, sawa sidi me piyato sawa kama sita me, Sitam Shriam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajrama Mimutsa Vajrabawa Maha Samaya Sata A Kompe Vajrasapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapa Dina Patita Dida Meboa Sitokaya Meboa Sipokaya Meboa Anarakta Meboa Sawa Sidi Mimpiyata Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajrama Mimutsa Vajrabawa Maha Samaya Sata A Kompe and Bajrasapa Samaya Manupalaya Bajrasapa Dina Patita Dida Meboa Sitokaya Meboa Sipokaya Meboa Anarakta Meboa Sawa Sidi Mimpiyata Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajrama Mimutsa Vajrabawa Maha Samaya Sata A Kompe And Bajrasapa Samaya Manupalaya Bajrasapa Dina Patita Dida me boa, sitokaya me boa, sipokaya me boa, anarakta me boa, sawa sidi me piyata sawa kama sita me, sitam shriam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan, sawa tata gata vajrama me mutsa vajrabawa maha samaya sata a kompe, and bhajrasapa samaya manupalaya bhajrasapa dina patita, Dida me boa, sitokaya me boa, sipokaya me boa, anarakta me boa, sawa sidi me piyata sawa kama sita me, Sitam Shriam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajrama Mimutsa Vajrabawa Maha Samaya Saka A Hum Pe. So be delighted that all the harm you've ever done to any sentient being with your body is completely purified and think there's no way you could do anything but benefit others now with your body. So the next is a purification of our speech and Vajrasattva very happily sends powerful nectar from his heart chakra and this arcs around and forcefully enters your crown and fills your entire body, except this time forcing up to the top of your body all the negativity of your speech, which overflows and disappears into space, not one atom left. So just imagine all the gossip and the harsh speech and the useless speech and lying and talking badly about others behind their backs. All of this is purified by this powerful nectar filling you. As you recite the mantra. Om Bajrasapa Samaya Manupalaya Bajrasapa Dina Patita Dira Meboa Sitokaya Meboa Sipokaya Meboa 
Ana recta me bo al sawa sidi me piyata sawa kama sita me sitam shiyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan sawa tata gata bhajama me muta bhajaba wa maha samaya sata a hum pe bhajo sapa samaya manupalaya bhajo sapa dina patita dira me bo al sito kaya me bo al sipo kaya me bo al ana recta me bo al sawa sidi me piyata sawa kama sita me Sitam shiyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan sawa tata gata vajrama me mutza vajrabawa maha samaya sattva a hum pe. Bhajra sapa samaya manupalaya bhajra sapa dina patita dhira me bova sutokaya me bova sipokaya me bova anarakta me bova sawa siddhi me piyata sawa kama sita me. Sitam shiyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan sawa tata gata vajrama me mutza vajrabawa maha samaya sattva a hum pe. Bhajra sapa samaya manupalaya bhajra sapa dina patita dhira me bova sutokaya me bova sipokaya me bova anarakta me bova sawa siddhi me piyata sawa kama sita me. Sitam shiyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan sawa tata gata vajrama me mutza vajrabawa maha samaya sattva a hum pe. Bhajra sapa samaya manupalaya bhajra sapa dina patita dhira me bova sutokaya me bova sipokaya me bova Anurakta me bo al sawa siddhi me piyata sawa kama sita me. Sitam shiyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan. Sawa tata gata vajrama me mutza vajrabawa maha samaya sattva a hum pe. Bhajra sapa samaya manupalaya vajra sapa dina patita. Dhiru me bo al sutokaya me bo al sipokaya me bo al. Anurakta me bo al sawa siddhi me piyata sawa kama sita me. Sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan sawa tata gata vajrama me mutza vajrabawa maha samaya sattva a hum pe. Bhajra sapa samaya manupalaya vajra sapa dina patita dhiru me bo al sitokaya me bo al sipokaya me bo al anurakta me bo al sawa siddhi me piyata sawa kama sita me. Sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan sawa tata gata vajrama me mutza vajrabawa maha samaya sattva a hum. So again, feel so happy that your speech is now completely purified. And imagine it's not possible to do anything other than benefit others with your speech, even yourself, because you'll hear yourself talking. So the next is a purification of the mind. And Vajrasattva now very compassionately sends powerful beams of light from his heart chakra and this arcs around and enters your crown and fills your entire being. So it's the same as when you walk into a pitch black room and you flick on the switch. That light that comes instantly dispels the darkness in the room. So it's the same here. The moment the light from Bajrasattva's heart touches your heart chakra, all the darkness of the negativity of your mind, so all your attachment and neediness and anger and violence and depression and bitterness, anxiety, Resentment, jealousy, grudges, all instantly dispelled, not one atom left. Bajrasapa samaya manupalaya bajrasapa dina patita dira me bova sutokaya me bova sipokaya me bova anarakta me bova sawa siddhi me piyata sawa kama sita me sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan sawa tata gata vajrama me mutza vajrabawa maha samaya sattva a hum pe bajrasapa samaya manupalaya bajrasapa dina patita dira me bova sutokaya me bova sipokaya me bova Anurakta me bova sawa siddhi me piyata sawa kama sita me. Sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan. Sawa tata gata vajrama me mutza vajrabawa maha samaya sattva a hum pe. Bajrasapa samaya manupalaya bajrasapa dina patita. Dhiru me bova sitokaya me bova sipokaya me bova. Anurakta me bova sawa siddhi me piyata sawa kama sita me. Sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan. Sawa tata gata vajrama me mutza vajrabawa maha samaya sattva a hum pe. Bajrasapa samaya manupalaya bajrasapa dina patita. Dhiru me bova sitokaya me bova sipokaya me bova. Anurakta me bova sawa siddhi me piyata sawa kama sita me. Sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan. Sawa tata gata vajrama me mutza vajrabawa maha samaya sattva a hum pe. Bajrasapa samaya manupalaya bajrasapa dina patita. 
Dude me boa, se to kaya me boa, se po kaya me boa, anorakta me boa, sawa sidi me piyata sawa kama sita me, sitam shiyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan, sawa tata gata vajama me mutsa vajabawa maha samaya sata a humpe, vajra sapa samaya manupalaya vajra sapa dina patita, Dude me boa, se to kaya me boa, se po kaya me boa, anorakta me boa, sawa sidi me piyata sawa kama sita me, Sitam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajrama Mai Mutsa Vajrabawa Maha Samaya Sapa A Hum Pe Bajra Sapa Samaya Manupalaya Bajra Sapa Dina Patita Diru Me Boa Sito Kaya Me Boa Sipo Kaya Me Boa Anurakta Me Boa Sawa Sidi Me Piyata Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajrama Mai Mutsa Vajrabawa Maha Samaya Sapa A Hum so again, be delighted that all your delusions, which are the source of all of our own suffering and the cause of why we harm others with our body and our speech, these are totally purified. They're gone. And think there's no space in your heart now for anything other than love and kindness and forgiveness and wisdom and bliss and compassion. So next is the purification of the imprints of negativity of the body, speech, and mind. And this time, imagine Vajrasattva sends light nectar, fills you completely, and eradicates even the subtlest imprints of negative energy from the mind. Vajrasattva samaya manupalaya vajrasattva dina patita tira me boa sito kaya me boa sipo kaya me boa anarakta me boa sawa sidi me piyata sawa kama sita me sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan sawa tata gata vajrama me mutsa vajrabawa maha samaya sata a hum pe vajrasattva samaya manupalaya vajrasattva dina patita Dida me boa, sito kaya me boa, sipo kaya me boa, anorakta me boa, sawa sidi me piyata sawa kama sita me, sitam shiyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan, sawa tata gata vajrama me mutsa vajrabawa maha samaya sata a hum pe, vajrasapa samaya manupalaya vajrasapa dina patita, Dida me boa, sito kaya me boa, sipo kaya me boa, anorakta me boa, sawa sidi me piyata sawa kama sita me, Sitam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajrama Me Mutsa Vajrabawa Maha Samaya Sapa A Hum Pe Vajra Sapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Sapa Dina Patita Dida Me Boa Sito Kaya Me Boa Sipo Kaya Me Boa Anurakta Me Boa Sawa Sidi Me Piyata Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajrama Me Mutsa Vajrabawa Maha Samaya Sapa A Hum Pe Vajra Sapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Sapa Dina Patita Dida Me Boa Sito Kaya Me Boa Sipo Kaya Me Boa Anurakta Me Boa Sawa Sidi Me Piyata Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajrama Me Mutsa Vajrabawa Maha Samaya Sata A Hum Pe Vajra Sapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Sapa Dina Patita Dida Me Boa Sito Kaya Me Boa Sipo Kaya Me Boa Anurakta me boa, sawa sidi me piyata sawa kama sita me, sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan, sawa tata gata vajrama me mutsa vajrabawa maha samaya sapa a hum pe, vajra sapa samaya manupalaya vajra sapa dina patita, dida me boa, sito kaya me boa, sipo kaya me boa, anurakta me boa, sawa sidi me piyata sawa kama sita me, Sitam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajrama Me Mutsa Vajrabawa Maha Samaya Sapa A Hum Pe So now feel completely purified and not one atom of negativity left in your mind stream. Just imagine even the subtlest obscurations to your enlightenment have been removed. So now we come to the power of resolve and this is the really crucial one in this purification process. A change doesn't happen by itself. We have to decide that we want to change our thought patterns, that we want to refrain from harming with our body and our speech and our mind. And we can start with ourselves, with our own self-doubt. So the moment you the moment you watch that arising, catch it. Maybe change the script. I am enough. So 
this determination to not do something again is what gives us strength to change. Imagine Bhadrasattva is delighted with us, wants to merge with your mind and melts into white light. And this just kind of absorbs into you through your crown and think, my teacher's body, speech, and mind, and Vajrasattva's body, speech, and mind, and my own body, speech, and mind are the same. And so next, Rinpoche would recommend to meditate on emptiness. So this was the question that Venom Rabina was asked. In emptiness, there is no I. There is no creator of negative karma. There is no action of creating negative karma, and there is no negative karma created. So just place your mind, however, at whatever level you understand emptiness, things can change. Mm, things are not fixed in cement. We are not stuck being the way we are. So we think of all phenomena as being empty. They don't exist from their own side. Things are, are dependent on other things. And sometimes the way we perceive things are just not the way they actually exist. And let's just dedicate all the merit, all the positive energy we have created this evening doing this purification to all living beings, particularly think of all those beings on Maui. And may all the virtuous karma we've created from doing this practice ripen as my enlightenment for the sake of sentient beings as quick as possible. And then also full of rain, who says she's not feeling very well. So tomorrow we are going to do Medicine Buddha practice, uh, Medicine Buddha meditation. So also think uh, long life of your teachers. So think the long life of His Holiness the Dalai Lama, the long life of the. So think about the swift return of Lama Sopram Shay's reincarnation, unmistaken reincarnation, and any other teachers you may have in your life. Just pray for them to live long. Okay, everybody, lots of love. Good night. Thank you for joining, particularly my East Coast people and my mountain people. And then also, what time? Must be the middle of the afternoon there, or is it night time, Anna? It's, yeah, half four a.m. Half four in the morning. Oh, wow. I rejoice. You are amazing, my friend. Okay, go to bed now. Sleep well. Lots of love, everybody, and I'll see some of you tomorrow morning. Okay, thank you. Good night. Thanks. Bye. Good night. Thank you. Good night, everyone.